Let's talk needles. This is really the most important part of your sewing machine. Whether you have a basic sewing machine or the most expensive machine, if you don't have the right needle in for the fabric and thread that you have picked, well, it's really just not gonna work. So let's get into what the basics are about how a needle makes all the difference. First off, on the large needle, you do have a flat side that always goes to the back of the machine, unless you have some of the older machines, but there is a groove that runs down the front of the needle. Did you know that? The thread actually needs to fit in the groove. Now I said thread. Now most of you are thinking, well, don't I just match my needle to my fabric? Yes, you do. First off, as you pick a needle that's bigger in size for heavier fabrics, a little smaller, narrower for finer fabrics, so it makes a smaller hole, that is correct. And then you need to make sure that the thread that you've selected actually also fits in that needle. As it fits in the groove, that's as it goes down through the fabric to make the stitch. With, if it is too big for the needle, it's not gonna actually work. Now on your package, you've got a couple numbers. Let's talk about those. You have the 130 slash 705. All that means is that it is a standard household soy machine needle, different from like industrial needles. So don't have to remember that, but that is on every package. You, the needle size that's important is where it says like 80 slash 12. Those two numbers, one is a metric number and one is an American number. So call them any way you want. But when you don't know where to start, we're starting right in the middle at that size 80 slash 12 needle. As your projects get thicker, you wanna go to a bigger needle, size 90, 14, size 116. And those are things that you wanna have in your collection no matter what. A range all the way up to size 100 and down to a size 70. Those are gonna be for your finer fabrics and that's really important to have there. Now, there's different types of needles. You've seen from universal needles to quilting needles, top stitch, stretch needles. Here's what we're gonna do. In the link right below this video, you're gonna get to where our blog is, and it's got a needle video for every single type of, it, of different size and type that's out there. And take some time to really just watch each of the videos and you'll help understand all the different types that are out there for your projects. Now, when do we need to change those needles? Well, of course, when it breaks or you hit something. Maybe you hit a pin, oh no, that's really hard. Hit a pin or maybe your throat plate or whatever, you really need to make sure you stop and change that needle. The other time that I change my needle is really once I have a thread break. That's the most obvious time. Your thread breaks, change your needle. Stop, take the time, put a new needle in. It's really the most important part of your sewing machine. So if you're getting any skip stitches, that's another reason to get a needle in there that's brand new. So take a look at our blog and check out our other needle videos and I think you'll be a needle expert in no time at all.